All right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia. I think you are still on bed or you are just about to get up from bed. Well, 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 it is a beautiful Wednesday. No matter how the situations are around you, I believe so you are up and you are doing. Today is a big day for Chelsea fans, isn't it? If you are a Chelsea fan, it's a big day. And if you are a Super Eagle fan, a Nigerian for that matter, you are excited about the day. You are waiting patiently for the match, the well-anticipated game of March against the South Africans, Bafana Bafana against the Super Eagles tonight in the AFCON semi-final bet. For me personally, I know it is a match that Super Eagles must ride on. They must ride and fly high tonight. I am right there. Chelsea, I cannot see. I cannot put my hope, I cannot bank my hope on Chelsea. But I'm still waiting. I want us to progress. I want us to do well. Aston Villa tonight, second leg of the FA Cup, fourth round. Yes, the last time we played at Chelsea, we played at Stamford Bridge. That game was supposed to finish it and kill the game there right there. But we couldn't, and there had to be a rematch, replay. And that is why we are now going to Aston Villa's home. Tonight's game is a must win for Chelsea. Otherwise, we'll be out from the FA Cup. Otherwise, we'll be out from the FA Cup. And I know in camp right now, a lot of things are happening. But before I go to Chelsea, Super Eagles camp update. Super Eagles camp update. Victor Osimhen has been declared fit and available for selection in the semi-final clash against South Africa. Tonight, he has joined the team in Bauke. Bauke and has trained with the squad. He has joined the team and has trained with the squad. According to the camp, the Super Eagles news. Yes, so that is a great news. Victor Osman is declared fit and trained with the squad yesterday. So all said and done, we have a fully fit Nigerian squad to face the South Africans tonight. All right? Okay, now back to Chelsea. It is obvious. It is obvious. It is actually obvious that we Chelsea fans right now, not much confidence in our team. It is obvious. Yes, I understand. But we still must support. <laughs> our coach has been calling for support. <laughs> He's been calling for support all these while. Yeah, and what we do, we have no choice. <clears throat> right now, we have no choice than to still continue to support until there is a drastic change. I want to believe that the players have another opportunity tonight to redeem themselves. The coach has an opportunity to redeem himself as well, not just the players. They, he can claim that the owner spoke to him on phone or they text him and everything is well. But the truth is, even the boardroom of Chelsea is split over whether to still maintain him or not. The boardroom is split. Yes. If you watch my last video last night, I made it very clear. Boardroom is split over here, over that decision. And so he can say whatever he wants to say. But listen, he said, Pochettino, this is one of the things he said in a press conference. He said, we need time. And people need to understand why we need time. It's about creating a team. It's like building a house. You need to be sure of all the steps you take. We are building from zero. Always it takes time. Is he trying to... Um, um, it, it, what, is he trying to let us... You know, he's trying to, to make us... Not to expect too much from tonight's game. This was a press conference. He's trying to let us to understand that he's building from the scratch. So even tonight's game, whether he wins or not, we shouldn't be, we should, we should expect anything. Let me put it that way. Our coach wants us to expect anything from tonight's game. From this statement, he's trying to lay the foundation for the loss. That in case he loses the match tonight, Chelsea fans should not be surprised because he's now building from scratch and that it takes time to build. This is all he's saying. He said, look at the project of Manchester City or Liverpool. It's always about time and a very clear leadership like Pep Guardiola or Jürgen Klopp. A very clear leadership like Pep Guardiola or Jürgen Klopp. Yes, they are clear. He said, it's so clear from there you build this project. Your coach, my coach, is trying to buy time. He's saying that no matter what happens tonight, we need to give him time because he, he, was, he started building from scratch. Poch, you started building from May, last year, May. As a matter of fact, you were, you were given a job unofficially from around January, February, that way. And so you started preparing before even you signed the contract. You started preparing before you, before you signed the official contract. Because your name was announced, we had declared back to sign the contract because of legal issues with PAG. That is why they have to hold on until you get to that May. 1st of May, yes, if my memory serves me right. 
So why, again, you, you have been building this for a football club. You are building a full a squad. Seven, eight months is not yet enough, right, to start winning games. For, for, after spending one billion pounds, over one billion, there is no problem. We move on. Pochettino. He said, I didn't finish 12th last year. Chelsea did. He didn't finish 12th position last year, but Chelsea did finish 12th position last year. It is a different squad to last year. Many changes. Okay, many changes. Did the changes brought improvement or not? Because if last season, Chelsea finished on the 12th position, and this season, many changes, like he claimed, and we are still lingering around 10, 11, 12 every time. So what is the change that you brought? What is a change did you what change did you bring to the club right now? If you say many changes, it's a different squad and many changes, and we are still where we used to be last season. In fact, we have been worse. The record is even worse than last season. It is. Point wise, it's worse. Goals conceded is worse. At least last season we could see. We there, there were sometimes when we go into games, you know that there were men on the field that sometimes can fight for the badge. We could see the anger on the on the on the face of the coaches. When things were not working out. That if you want to compare to damage us, to compare things, I think it is impossible. Really? Okay. I know. You try to buy time, right? Uh, you try to buy time. I see. I see. Dear friend, tonight, personally, personally, I would say that we are going to be hoping for the best. We are going to be hoping for the best. We will not give up on our club. But I just need you as a Chelsea fan not to expect too much. Don't expect too much. Take it easy on yourself. Yeah, it's very important. Take it easy on yourself in order, <clears throat> in order not to help damage your own heart. Before I let you go, dear friend, I said it yesterday. The issue in a dressing room for a senior player, a senior most player in the squad, wife to come out publicly and say there needs to be a change. It's not just ordinary. It's not ordinary. He said, I can confirm, Fabrizio Romano said, I can confirm that Thiago Silva and Pochettino had a conversation face to face regarding Bella Silva's tweet. They clarified the situation. The relationship remains very good. The feeling before this situation was that Silva's contract was not to be extended. There is a very concrete chance for Thiago Silva to live as a free agent. This is from who? Fabrizio Romano. There is what? There is a concrete chance for Thiago Silva to be living in the summer because his contract is still not extended yet. So if the wife is calling for a change, most probably Thiago Silva can say, well, it is a change of club. <laughs> it is a change of club, not a change of coach. You are the one that misconstrued my statement. So Thiago Silva can defend that. And that is exactly what they have done. Dear friend, let me leave you here. A very good morning to you. I'll be back. I'll see you when you see me. Shalom and peace.